you should always fly visual line of sight, which means that you should always be able to see your drone. But if you're filming and you're a one-man crew here, like I am, then you are looking at the drone, you see where it is, you look at the screen, you do your move to record, and you occasionally glance back at the drone. But suddenly you start moving left, you start moving right, you look up, you lost your drone. Now what do you do in that situation? Now the easy part is that you, there's a return to home button on the controller itself that will automatically get the drone in the air and fly straight back to you. But it's not always the best option to do and sometimes it is just not an option to use that uh, specifically. So let's see how we actually get the drone back. Hi, I'm Steven with DroneOn.eu and today we are going to talk about how to safely bring back the drone that you lost visual sight of. Now, as I mentioned, the, the return to home is not always a good option because uh, as you can see behind me, there are some windmills. There are a couple of others there. There are some windmills in that direction as well. There are some trees around me. So the drone could be hovering below some branches, below some power lines uh, or below a bridge even. Um, or even when it's clear, it goes up to 100 meters, which is my default setting for the return to home, for example. Um, and it will fly in a straight line to you, which means that potentially it would fly straight into that uh, windmill or it would fly into the blades, which it won't spot. And also between the blades and after the blades, there's a lot of turbulence that could upset your drone. So it's not always a good idea to just simply hit return to home when you lost sight of your drone. So yeah, there's a couple of things that you can do and the order of things that you should do to bring your drone back safely. Let me show you. Now the first thing you will want to do is look at your surroundings. So I'm looking at the camera here. I'm seeing that the height is only 3.5 meters. So I'm very close to the ground. So I need to look close at the ground. Uh, but I'm about 130 meters away from it. Now, right now, I know that the direction is also here on the screen. It's this little radar chart. I can point my controller to it and it should be somewhere around there. But I don't know if I can move the drone, yes or no, because I'm only three meters and a half high. Should I go straight up to make it more visible to me or not? I might be under a tree. So the next step I want to do is, if I can't see the drone immediately, is look at the screen again and turn, just yaw the drone in place and see what is going on. I can see to the right here that there's a tree, uh, definitely a tree there. And when I turn around, I can see some landmarks here. So that's the bridge that is coming up and it seems to be clear in that way. And on the other side, there's also nothing there. Um, can I go up? That's the next question. So the next thing you can do, especially with the Mini 3 Pro, you can tilt your gimbal up over uh, 60 degrees. So turning around there, seeing if everything is clear. Yes, everything seems to be clear there. So that means that I can now move my drone upwards. So let's uh, do that and it should be more visible. So going up and there it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I see it in the sky now. There is my drone. So these are the only steps that were necessary in this case. I didn't fly it back over the field because I still want to be out there shooting stuff. Um, so that means that bringing it back, getting back out there uh, would actually cost me a lot of battery life. So right now I am good and I can continue shooting there. So right now I've flown the drone a little bit further and the drone is currently hiding behind the tree there. So again, the same thing. I want to check where I am, 17 meters high, 223 meters away from me. And um, if I point it, it's pointing directly at the trees. So this is something um, that I now need to check, okay, what can I do? So again, I'm going to yaw the drone. Is there any obstacle in the surrounding? Oh, that is a dangerous one. So there's the windmill. And there are the two other windmills and the bridge, 
which is the bridge that is just beside me here. So I know that that direction is going to be okay. So I'm going to fly in that direction until I see the drone again. So I'm flying, but I failed to spot the drone. I'm almost at the highway here, which I should not fly over. So the question now is, where is my drone? It should be over there, but I don't see it. So in that case, well, because the drone is such a light color and the sky is such a light color, it's a good idea to just look around, go a little, little bit up more, see if you go up left or right, if you can see the drone. So let's try that. I should be looking at 17 meters, which is not high at all. I know, I still don't see the drone. So at this point, I could say, okay, what's the straight line towards me? Again, I'm using the drone, but if I tap on the little map in the bottom, and I can even uh, make that a lot bigger by just tapping on it again, then I can see where I am. And you can pinch zoom and you can see, okay, where am I? Uh, I'm going to you all a little bit now. So the drone is pointing straight towards me. Uh, and now I know that if I go in a straight line, it will come directly to me by using that map. So if I go back to where we are here and uh, I can see my car already down there. So let me show you that's in the center right there there's nothing in the way so i can just move forward and the drone will arrive to me notice that i still haven't used the automatic return to home functionality so here it is bringing it down a little bit more so you'll see it as well so there is the drone in the background so those are definitely exercises that you should do or actions that you should do when you lose sight of your drone instead of just hitting the return to home. Because if I now hit return to home, the drone will still go straight up for 100 meters and fly in a straight line towards me. It will work as I will show here. So let me take the drone back quite a bit. I'm going that direction. Right. So the drone is now next to one of the windmills. Let me just put it right now. It's in between the windmills uh, in the background. Uh, but assume that I don't see the drone at this point. No problem. Just hit and hold the return to home button. And then it says it will come back home. And you can see, hopefully, that the drone is currently already climbing up. And it will go all the way up to 100 meters before it will come back to me. Now this is because I set it in my settings to 100 meters. I use that as a safety precaution because usually buildings where I fly are not 100 meters. And if I lose connection with the controller for some reason, then it will actually also execute that return to home automatically. So it's coming down straight above me. So there you have it. Those are the options that you have to bring back your drone safely in case you lose your visual line of sight of the drone. You should never do it legally, but of course, since we are looking at the screen, we are trying to film something while the drone is hovering. Um, it might happen. And this is some good advice for you guys on how to actually recuperate such a drone. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. Until next time, drone on.